right guys, so what I've got for you today is this guy. That's awesome. Now this, this is a Texas rat snake, and I already did a video on the Texas rat snake, but this guy's got a little bit of a story to it. Um, my dad, six years ago, he came in an area near here, and it was on the road, it was on the side of the road, and somebody, it looked like they had hit him with a shovel. You may be able to still see the scar on his body. You can see that. So he brought him back home, and he um, he kept him for a few months, and he he fed him, and that was on that was on the north north shore, and we let him go over there. Now something you're gonna notice about this snake, it's much darker and it has a red tongue. We're on the south shore right now and this is where he was from. The one that I caught in my first video had a black tongue and was a lighter color. And that was on the north shore. Now we're on the south shore and they're gonna have red tongues and a darker color. But he brought it over there and he released it. And now six years later, we found this exact same snake probably about 30 feet from where he let it go, I'd say. Pretty pretty close to the area he released it. And we know it's him because he's got a red tongue, same coloration, so the red tongues don't live over there, so we know it's him. And he's got the scar damage still, so we know it's him. And he looked like he needed needed some food. He hadn't get, been getting food where, where we let him go. And I fed him, I think I've fed him twice now, so he's He's good and fed, and we're going to bring him back here in an area where hopefully he's not going to run into any more people, and he's going to get the food source that he needs. And I thought that was really special, and I figured I'd show you guys. He's a very sweet snake. They all have a different, different disposition or a different attitude, and he is very sweet and very calm. He's not trying to bite me, and he is very big. Let me try to show him for you probably between somewhere between four and five feet. He's a very sweet snake. He's very nice. And I'm very glad that my dad rescued him and helped him. So now that he can be back out here, because he's a very awesome animal. That's great. Alright, so what I'm gonna do just get some pictures like this maybe. Try to keep him still. I'm not gonna put him in this big cypress. I just thought it was really awesome to show you guys and it was cool to film by. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put him in the smaller tree and he's gonna go straight up it. Here you go, bud. There he goes. Back where he lives. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, definitely leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time.